Today's video was sponsored by Envado Elements. We hit 300,000 followers on Instagram. And since every milestone so far forced me to Photoshop something progressively more insane, I can't put an end to that tradition right now, can I? Instead of a car, a van, a dump truck, a normal truck, we are going airborne today. Let's not waste any more time and get straight into it. This chaotic piece of work started out with a helicopter and a massive blue container. I adjusted its perspective and removed some text it had. I dropped in the main background images and placed them down in what seemed to me the best and most obvious spot. I smudged the two skies together by fading out edges and adding some coloring. For some haze in the background, I used a blue overlay and applied it to the distant areas, creating this nice mist effect. I added some quick highlights and shadows to the back and foreground, and now the landscape was starting to look acceptable. I also dropped in some stars to spice it up on top there. Of course, the chopper and container looked like absolute garbage, so I started adjusting the lighting on them as well. To make sure the container isn't magically floating for no reason, I made ropes attaching it to the chopper. It sure seems a bit big and heavy for a helicopter that size, but we don't speak of that. We don't. Benny Productions milestone assembly is not complete without a moon, you know it, so I added a nice bright moon and a wannabe Mars planet. I used various effects to blend them into the sky and this looks fine for now. The only purpose of this moon really is just so I can add highlights to the helicopter as well, so that's exactly what I did. I wasn't happy with the way the sky looked, so to fix this load of patheticness, I changed it up big time by adding more blue and red towards the horizon. This creates more of a duotone and makes the whole thing less boring to look at. And this definitely gave me some hope, because I was about to give up on it. And this new bright light source made some new room for lighting. Now, one of the most important things, the 300k title. There really was only one good and obvious place for it, the front of the container. I decided instead of pink and purple, what I usually did, I'm going for green this time. I tried making it look like one of these neon signs and that looked pretty nice eventually. But of course, not without a shitload of glow. had to drop in a TIE fighter as it's kind of tradition at this point and I also added the alien from my previous alien artwork. And as another installment I added the UFO from the abduction of Bertha. One by one I added the right effects and shading to them to really put them out there.
Well, got your attention? Good. Cause you cannot miss out on the sponsor of today, Envado Elements. The, in my opinion, best place to get your assets for digital creation. Think of stock photos and videos, but also 3D assets, Photoshop add-ons, fonts, sound effects, stock video. Honestly, even for video editors, this place is great. They have 6.9 million assets, can you believe that? Put 50 million stock photos on top of that with the 2020 stock photos, which are included. In this video, multiple photos are from there and it's honestly fantastic. Even this slideshow you're watching right now is from Envato Elements. It's, it's beautiful. If you're interested, check out the link down below and get yourself an annual subscription for only $16 a month. Now back to the video. To spice up the landscape below, I thought what could we possibly add from past projects? The castle, of course, from the medieval artwork. I blended it in there, and to keep a nice balance left and right, I added some of the giant mushrooms on the other side. I started adding various stuff to the container. I made it look more beaten up with grunge textures and added followers below 300k. Finally, I added some ivy plants over the whole thing. I really wanted it to look old and used, if that makes sense. And from here, it's just more of the same. At the very end, I'm adding a camera raw filter, which make the whole thing look a million times better. And I guess that about wraps it up then.
didn't turn out all that insane, but I guess I still kind of like it. There just isn't much room in a composition like this, which is for sure a good lesson for the next time. Massive, massive thank you for 300,000 subscribers, followers. I mean, it, it's honestly insane and maybe one day will even get verified, who knows. But anyways, then I guess that's it for today. If you like this video, make sure to leave a like and a comment. And if you enjoy my overall content, feel very, very free to subscribe. That would actually, actually mean the world to me. Then I hope I'll see you in my next video.